All right, let's get started. So this time, let's do a triangle. But unfortunately, we don't have a triangle directly. You can add it on. What we can do is we can just add in a plane and make the plane align to the view. So right now it's in the front view. So go to the tab edit mode, select all these vertices, hit the M key to merge a center. So now we have a triangle. Okay, cool. So basically next we are going to adding some cylinders in order to cutting some circles out. So hit S to just kind of getting a little bit bigger. In the past, I have showed you how to do the uh, knife project, but this time I am just going to using the boolean tool. It actually gonna work the same. So Shift Eight, adding a, a cylinder this time. Well, at this time I'm gonna use eight uh, because eight is the minimal of the vertices you want to do a quick circle. So then I'm going to align to the view. So now hit S to shrink it down. G and Z to drag it up. So getting that properly done, and then I can do Shift D to duplicate it one more time. I just drag over here. Since I'm drag this duplicated mesh, I'm just going to come here to quickly do a mirror modifier and to do mirror another one. So I can just just do that uh, and Control A to apply that, and then I can just join these. Together, hit Control J to add a one single mesh, so I can just put in here. Next, I'm going to use this plane and uh, adding a boolean modifier, and then select this circle or cylinder, try try cylinder, and then apply this one. Now I can just hide the cylinder. You can see I already adding some. Vertices on this plane. Now we're already creating some vertices over here. Uh, basically, what we need to do next is to kind of fix this typology because this is terribly wrong. So I'm just going to make every face uh, into qua. And also, you can see that there are some uh, random vertices being created. So I'm going to fix that as well. And the one thing we want to make sure is that that these uh, triangles, these corners, very sharp. So we need to make sure we have enough geometry to support that. But let's just getting started. We can use a knife tool to kind of cutting things through. So because we need to support this uh, a corner, so basically I'm just going to making sure I cutting something to to support this first, the corner. So and later on we all fix that. Um, all right. So same thing over here. So if I can. Uh, I can just dissolve that. So if I can hit X to dissolve the vertices edges, uh, which means I'm not. I don't have that. So then I can just start fixing around this, and then later on I'm gonna do that. Okay. So just gonna hit the K key to just creating some uh, geometries around this areas. Okay. So hit K key. Here. There's no specific rules, but uh, just for experience. So I'm I'm just trying to getting things to join together and connect it. I, and then there's no one single solution for a good topology, but uh, just based on experience, you will know better when you do more uh, practice with it. Okay. So I can obviously I can do a cut from here and uh, hit A key to make it straight. And hit that. So now I'm I, right now I'm looking at the left hand side because I can easily mirror to the other side. So right now this is qua, this is qua, and this is not a qua. So uh, control uh, and then I can using a knife tool to get that. So that is all qua. Uh, so now this is I can just to hit that. Hit that. So join these two. This is qua. This is qua. This is a qua qua. Okay. So I think this looks pretty good. Uh, now let me go to the X-ray mode, Alt Z, and I can select the vertices on the right hand side. Hit X to delete the vertices, and then now you see notice there's something went wrong over here, but that's okay. I'm just going to join these two. Hit J and then do it one more time. So like that, and uh, hit X to delete vertices, and then I'm going to use a mirror modifier to get that mirrored. So um, turn on the clipping 
point on. So basically, I can just drag this thing. Vertices is G. You see, if I once it's kind of hit on the middle, so it's actually gonna snap to together and merge the duplicated vertices. Same thing over here. So I can just drag, making sure it is all connected. Hit A key, uh, merge by distance, cleaning everything else. I can just apply this mirror modifier. Uh, all right, so apply that. So I got all the vertices that I wanna create. And then next, I'm actually can. Giving this a little bit thickness, uh, hit E Y, just extruded it out, and now we have some thickness going on here. All right, so so far it looks pretty good. Uh, uh, let me see if we can just adding a uh, subsurface modifier, or we can just simply just apply this mirror modifier. Okay, and after that, I noticed that we have two triangles. I can just hit that X, dissolve the edge. Same thing here. Hit X to dissolve the edge. So now this should be good. Then let's try Control Two. Uh, as we expected, this is is pretty terrible. So what we can do here is to go to the Edit Mode and Edge Selection Mode, and uh, to do the select sharp edges. And if you don't know why this is in here, it's kind of quick favorite. So you can just find that over here to. Right click and add it to the uh, quick favorite. Okay, so that's how you do it. Uh, sharp edge, and then what I will do next, I'm going to deselect the middle section part because so that is not the sharp edge that I'm interested to do bevel. So these are the ones, and uh, also the top edge over the that corner, and then I think that should be fine. Now let's do a Control B bevel. And small amount, and two segment, always, always arc. So that will work the best. And okay, so let's tap it out. See how things go. And subsurface modifier, looking good. I think that is looking good. Okay, so go to the extra mode. Select that. I I just want to give it a little bit more thickness going on here. Okay, cool. So next, you can see here. Although we turn on the subsurface modifier on and turn on the shade smooth, but still we don't have enough geometries in here. So next time, you can either try to use more vertices when you're cutting through this triangle, or you can just simply bump up the uh, subdivision modifier. So I can do two. So that will work. And just because the reason I use eight uh, vertices is just simply because that's the Smallest amount of of vertices you can use to when you're cutting a perfect circle. Okay, so what I can do here, I'm basically going to adding some loop cut to support the middle. Control R. So let's do two of these. Should be good. And uh, on each circle. So now and also a couple of these on the side. Then I think we have a perfect, a cool triangle. Shape with some circle, and let's go to the edit mode. Do a quick check. Uh, face selection mode. Quick, a uh, quick button. Face by size. Uh, do we have any ungons? Yeah, it seems like we have quite a bit ungons we need to fix. So let's go hit a uh, vertices selection mode. Let's see what we can do to fix these ungons. Okay, so probably it because we had the subsurface modifier turned on. It make everything confused.、Uh, let's see. Okay, so is this the ungong? Yes, it is. So, so it is an ungong. So we have quite a bit ungong need to fix.、Uh, the reason it looks just fine earlier is because we have a super、uh, flat surface to start with. Uh, so that's why there's no issue with it. So what I can do here, I can try to adding some loop cut to getting the ungon fix. If I can select that,、uh, this is a. So I can select this to join this one. Hit J. Same thing here. J. I think this is two. Okay, so this is the. Ungong now, so let's see and hit. 
Let's do quick by size. And make sure your face selection mode. And then that top part has been fixed. So I need to fix the this part. Okay, so let's see what I can do. So this I can simply just join these two. J now. Okay, so this one, that one is J to join that, right? Okay. Face selection mode. Anything else? Okay, we have something that down here. Let's see. So this is a it seems like this is a claw. I don't know why. What happened? I'm going to hit A to select everything. Hit M key to merge by distance. Okay, so nothing wrong. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's claw. Uh, so it's ungong. So these are two ungongs. What I would do is Control R to adding a a loop over here. Control R. So I can just to join these J J. So now let's go check one more time. So I think at least at the front, it, everything is working properly. So what I can do here, I can just control R adding a loop cut in the center. And then I can just mirror the other side. The X to delete the vertices and to getting a mirror modifier, drag it up and uh, Turn on the clipping, and I believe is the is the Y key or the origin is in a different size. So what I could do here, maybe I can just drag this G Y and up here and do it again. Set origin to 3D cursor, and then I can do turn on the mirror modifier. Now what I will do next is I'm going to select this um, middle biggest long loops and <laughs> biggest uh, loop and double G to just and G Y just drag over here because we turn on the clipping everything's going to be merged uh, so there's that should be all good all right then let's turn on the subservice modifier that should be good it feels like well uh, all right double G to move to the center Is there anything going on? Okay. So, okay. Also, I noticed that uh, because we have this turned on and we didn't getting these two, three circles uh, getting to the center. So it didn't merge in that way. So after I select these, okay, G, Y, merge them. Now this is perfect. Okay, cool. And then let's go to the face selection mode triple check <laughs> hit the Q key and uh, select face by size I think that's all the quads right yes so we are all good for this particular shape that we want to create you can certainly apply the mirror modifier and that's uh, getting access to the geometry and uh, I'm always interested to utilizing these kind of like simple shape or geometry uh, to making the photography scenes looks very simple and uh, very unique as well. So, and this is something that uh, I, I would certainly play with array modifier and uh, do some spinning and do some uh, duplications. You wanted to make a pretty cool scene, uh, but that's just my way of thinking about this. And if you enjoyed this type of small modeling and topology practice in Blender, please hit likes and share this videos. And uh, if you have any questions regarding Blender modeling, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.